Semi-final stalemate, nil all in the first leg of the semi-finals between Melbourne Victory and Wellington Phoenix, a tightly t- contested match where defences were on top, and now it sets up a, a huge second leg in Wellington, where surely you think Phoenix have the advantage heading into that second leg. They're going to be the home team. They're going to they're going to put in, bring in a massive crowd for that match. And uh, look, this game, I think for Melbourne Victory, they'll be really disappointed looking at the opportunities that they did have. Uh, the areas of the field they got into and they didn't take their chances. They didn't have that quality in the final third to make the breakthrough. Quite interesting when we look at the lineups for the two teams heading into this match and victory made some really fascinating alterations uh, with the likes of Brimmer, Arzani and Falami dropping out. It was Bonavazia who was in in that central role replacing the suspended Machash, but Khalifi, Valupale, Valadon were all into the starting lineup and uh, all played pretty well. Ryan Teague was impressive in midfield as well. Well, and uh, it was that hour mark where those substitutes were brought on. Those three guys who were on the bench in Arzani, Brimmer, and uh, Falami. Economides coming on late on as well for Melbourne Victory as well as Chapman. And uh, they tried to sort of make the breakthrough. I think they knew Melbourne Victory that this was this first leg at home was the important moment for them where they had to get a positive result. They had to get a goal at least just to give them some advantage heading to that second leg over in New Zealand where it's going to be really tough for them. And Wellington Phoenix, credit to them who put in a, a really impressive defensive performance. Again, playing sort of with with this uh, false nine setup, David Ball sort of playing a, in a central role but dropping really deep into midfield at many times, uh, almost turning it just into a 4-4-2. Barbarusis and Kryev with the main attacking outlets. But it was all about defense for Wellington Phoenix. And you look at their stats as well. These stats come from Google. Um, no shots on target for Wellington. Six total, zero on target. Uh, you can see here the story for victory. I mean, 20 shots, but only five of those on target. Uh, I don't think Wellington will be bothered by that statistic there, the the lack of shots on target, uh, because it was all about defense here. It was all about staying in this first leg of the semifinal to set themselves up nicely for the second leg at home. I think that was maybe part of the thinking for Wellington Phoenix, and they did a fantastic job. Wooden, Sermon, Payne, Sutton at the back were all fantastic. The, the shots that were coming in from Melbourne Victory, those 20 shots total, a lot of them were coming in from distance. And the ones that were on target, the five shots on target, were all pretty much just straight Alex Paulson. It was a fascinating uh, it was fascinating viewing, watching the amount of times that Victory got forward and got into promising areas, but were just nullified by that, by that Wellington defense and were having to you know, take shots from you know, 20, 30 meters out. And it wasn't really troubling Alex Paulson at all. Phoenix did look dangerous at a couple moments on the counterattack. Uh, ben Ald was lively on that, light, on that left-hand side. Barbarousas didn't have many opportunities. It was really uh, much, very much an arm wrestle, sort of in in the in sort of the, the middle of the park. The, the both midfielders were were really going at it for for most of the game. There were plenty of fouls across the match. Uh, it was a really competitive contest. It certainly had the vibe of a, of a tightly contested semi final. But neither side making the the breakthrough. But again, I think. It for me, if I'm a Wellington Phoenix fan, I'm I'm pretty happy with this result heading into the second leg, you know, knowing that there's going to be such a big crowd there in New Zealand for that one, and uh, confident that they'll be able to come away with the result at home as they have done so many times this season. I think Wellington Phoenix, uh, off the top of my head, have only lost what one game at home this season. That was to Newcastle uh, many months ago. Now, Melbourne victory though missed opportunities, a lack of quality in the final third, costing them in this first leg. Of course, no Machash for that second leg as well. It's going to be interesting to see what victory do with their lineup in that second leg. Do they bring, you know, Brimmer, Azani, Falami back into that lineup? Uh, what combination does he go for? Fauna Roli was really starved of any opportunities in this game as well. How does he tweak the setup a little bit to maybe get Fauna Roli into the game a bit more? Give him more opportunities because, yes, they did have 20 shots, but really, none of those shots really troubling Alex Paulson. There were no clear-cut chances where you thought this was a, a guilt-edged chance, chance to score. They got into good areas. They got into good, uh, you know, they had good spells of possession where they were really pinning Wellington back, but nothing really getting close to goal. Massive, massive uh, uh, match for both these two teams. And the second leg is going to be truly intriguing right now. Uh, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to drop your thoughts on this match in the comments section. My name is Lockie, this is Coastwatch Football, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.